For further later updates from Moscow, we also have with us senior journalist Tatiana Kukareva. Thanks so much, Tatiana, for making time for us. Many geopolitical experts argue that for Mr. Putin, Mr. Modi's visit is a way for Russia to show that the Kremlin continues to have a strong partnership with India, despite India's deepening relationship with the United States. How do you see this crucial bilateral summit? Well, and not, let's not forget, uh, you know, energy uh, being the one of the most important, uh, you know, corporations so far. Uh, we know that there's, you know, this nuclear plant that is uh, under construction. And, uh, you know, we've heard in, um, Prime Minister Modi has set, uh, you know, already some ambitious goals for uh, his energy agenda, you know, he's been looking to make India more energy uh, self-reliant and uh, Russia comes in uh, incredibly handy uh, in this, um, you know, in this task that he has set for himself, um, which is why actually tomorrow I think he's, um, he's due to visit uh, the Rosatom exhibition in Moscow as well, you know, Rosatom being the agency that's constructing uh, those nuclear reactors. Um, so this is this has been a very fruitful relationship, as you uh, said. You know, it's a conflict-free relationship. Well, India's purchases of discounted Russian petroleum, though Tatiana, they have helped fill Russia's coffers depleted by international sanctions over the war. Many would argue that there is a new world order emerging. How can one then decipher Mr. Modi and Mr. Putin's relationship in that backdrop? Well, I think that the timing here is obviously incredibly important. And also, let's not forget that it, uh, it happens at the same time as the NATO leaders are convening, you know, in another part of the world. Uh, and that's also no surprise, you know, we have to look at timings uh, with these things. But as you said, you know, there's a, a massive realignment in the world. But I would actually suggest that Russia and India have been at the forefront of that realignment, and that realignment being the emergence of this multipolar world, the emboldened, you know, global south that we've been talking about for quite some time now, and uh, Russia being crucial to this process, uh, as is India, you know, as rightfully mentioned, you know, your country is looking to be the world's third economy very, very soon, uh, then, you know, probably going to go even further up. But you know, the Ukraine war has put India in a bit of a delicate diplomatic position with its Western allies. I'm sure you're aware. New Delhi has walked the tightrope, not explicitly condemning the Russian invasion, but calling for an international probe into the Buja massacre in the early weeks of the war. Not ignoring multilateralism. Where do you see India-Russia ties headed? I think that, uh, just as you said, you know, uh, again, uh, I don't believe that we're reinventing our relationship right now. I think uh, Vladimir Putin and Narendra Modi have already reinvented that relationship. They have already reinvented world order in a way, uh, you know, putting up that, that, that um, the global south that is now has already risen, you know, and, and the relationship being haven't been so fruitful. Um, again, I'll remind you that there's uh, a huge nuclear project that we have uh, between our two nations. So that's definitely going to be the future of the relationship as well. Um, you know, so there's going to be more cooperation in terms of energy. There's going to be more cooperation in terms of trade. Well, thank you so much, Tatiana, for joining us with that ground update. We will, of course, revert to you for regular updates once that summit wraps up.